Okay guys, I just wanted to um, show you some more stuff uh, that we haven't talked about in the previous videos. Um, so I've just set up these rectangular shapes. And I mean they're pretty simple, it's just using the rectangular tool corner to corner. And what I'm going to do is just select them. And go under surfaces, extrude curves and extrude them straight. And then if you go to your regular setup with all your views, you can extrude it and figure out how high you want the walls to be. Um, but so what I really want to focus on in this video is the snap tool. So let me show you how that works. Um, let's say you're doing the floor. So you have this, you don't want it here, you want it to be at the bottom in your scene. So I'm gonna move it and usually to move object I would enter M, enter and it says move. So then um, right now I've got the snaps and they're toggle from disabled to enabled. And I'm using the endpoint, the point, midpoint, center point, intersection. And so the one I'm going to be using is the first one, the endpoint. So you can untoggle them and just use the endpoint. So in this case, I'm starting from this endpoint here all the way up to the bottom endpoint, this guy. This guy. And now I can go under the surface tool, extrude curve, extrude straight, and extrude it down. So that's how you would snap an object from one position to the next. And so you can select a wall, and enter and you can move that from let's say the midpoint to the midpoint of this edge of this object and so what that does is it makes sure that the position of this rectangular shape is exactly at the middle of this other rectangular shape So that can be really useful, especially if you're going to put in something like a door or a window. Um, for example, if you wanted to make a door, you could say scale, and you can just type it in. Type in scale, one dimension or two dimensions. Uh, in this case, I want to use the scale one dimension. And I would like to scale this this way. Uh, another thing you can do too here is you can select it. And if you go sideways, it's going to give you some strange results. So what you can do is select the endpoint, and then here it's going sideways. So you can hold the shift key, which forces the ortho to be on. Uh, and if you don't like to use this shortcut with shift, you can just click on ortho, and now everything is going to be 90 degrees. It's going to be perpendicular to the X or Y axis. And so this way you can make sure everything is flush, everything touches from one edge to the next, and you can quickly move things around. For example, if I want to move this, I'm going to copy. I like to write everything down, but you guys can go under Edit, uh, Copy, or Control c Control v And so what I wanted to do here is select this one and put it on the other side. So one way to do that is to select this endpoint and copy the whole rectangular shape onto the other side. So I'm going to zoom in and click on this endpoint.
So yeah, that's pretty much how that works. And you can kind of play around with the different snaps. Uh, center is for circular shapes. Um, you can snap from a center to a midpoint. You can snap from an endpoint to uh, the center of a circular shape. Uh, sometimes if it's a rectangular shape, it's going to have a center as well. So that's why I don't always use the center um, snap feature because sometimes you don't want to click on the center of it. You want to click on the midpoint or, or the endpoint. Uh, so it can be kind of confusing sometimes. Uh, so that's why sometimes you want to toggle some of these features, uh, enable them, disable them. Um, you can also use the project feature. Uh, what the project does is if you're using the top view and you're moving an object from here to, let's say, up here, the endpoint I'm selecting is this edge point right there, but the shape is staying flat from the top view. It's not moving up. Now, if I toggle the project again, it's going to move all the way up to the endpoint. Uh, so that can be really useful if you're working from, let's say, um, the top lane like this, and suddenly you say you want to use the edge point, and right now it's snapping up to the top edge of this rectangular shape. And if that's not what you want, then you can use the project, and that's going to result in some very different results. For example, if I go up here and I snap to this endpoint, now it's flat with the ground plane, with the x or the y axis. It's not, it's not using the z, it's discarding the z information of this endpoint. So it's always going to be flat with your ground, your x, y axis. So hopefully this gives you a better idea of how the snap works and how to use the O snaps or four and the grid snap as well. The grid snap um, is pretty much the same. What it does is it snaps to these these points on the grid. And so if you disable the grid snap, now you're going to be floating in space, right? You're not snapping onto these grid corners anymore. So it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, 